Uh, yeah. I mean, the thing about this interview is that pretty much everyone that he called out responded. And that's what made the interview so big is that suddenly you have Kevin Hart's fan base saying, oh, what's what's this interview about? You know, everyone. We're all, we're all. Michael Blackson's fan base checked it out. Everyone's fan base, Ludacris's fan base checked it out. Everyone's but it's not for base... the re it's, Listen, and, and, I, and again, when you when you read some of the comments, oh, man, cat got niggas shook. Niggas is holding a press conference, which is funny. <laughs> but nonetheless, yes, there's no press conferences. Being but nonetheless, listen, we're all ego driven. We're all entertainers. We're all men. So if somebody is talking shit, you're, no matter how much you want to try to pretend it don't bother you, you're not going to address it. You, you, you know, at the end of the day, we're entertainers. We have egos. We're human beings. We have egos. We're men. We have egos. So the ego in you and the man in you goes, nah, fuck that. Let me respond. Mm -hmm. So that's just a natural given. But again, man, I, I I just, you know, listen, the, 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 my proudest moment, for real, is recently Dave Chappelle spoke out on it. At a con Did you see this? I saw it. I was about to mention that. I think it was, was, at, uh, think that, yeah. it was at uh, the Improv on, on uh, Mo' Better Mondays. And, uh, and, and uh, him and D-Ray were debating about it on stage. And I'm like this. As far as I'm concerned, Dave is our generation's Richard Pryor. He is the GOAT. And the fact that the GOAT Agreed with my take, and not that, not that he said that personally, but we had the same stance. That's good enough for me. That's good enough for me. Right, and his stance was, how come you didn't diss any of the white boys? Cats attacking all the brothers, but it's like, uh, and, and and I think Charlemagne even alluded to the same thing. He's like, you know, you talking about, uh, I wish I could, I, I, if I try to paraphrase it, I'm gonna butcher it. But he worded it in such a way it was like. You you attacking all the brothers, but you the puppets, but you're not attacking the puppet masters, the guys who really pull the strings. And I wonder why that is. I be I, I could I could speculate all day. Well, he shouted out Gary Owen in a positive way. In a positive way. Yeah. But you know whether whether it's Steve, Ricky, any of us, we're not the ones who signed the check. And the one thing about Hollywood that I've always said, especially pertaining to black people, is you sit there and you wonder, how come we don't take more of a stance? How come we not more vocal? How come we don't unite and do this and this and this and this? Because we don't want to bite the hand that feeds us. Well, there's a lot of uniting. I mean, the Kings of Comedy is an example of, of, an, of a very dope unification of the biggest comics of that day. That's small potatoes compared to what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the boardroom, in the offices, the suits, yeah, they'll always allow us to put on a uniform and play. Can we own the team? That's the difference. We're talking about ownership. We're talking about real shit to make a difference. We could play all day. They love when we play. But now let's let's let's, let's talk about ownership. Mm -hmm. Let me own the franchise. Let me get on get in on that. That's a very private club by design. So that's what I'm talking about.